Welcome back. Uh, as you can see, spring is really starting to pop here. So, and I've been a little busy. I mean, you guys, you've already seen this down here. But uh, I wanted to show you. I got my uh, empties on. I guess these are Rivieras. And I got, I got these rear tires for free. Somebody came by and dropped them off. Yeah, I still got this shit here. Um, and I found a set of fenders off of 64 and they bolt right up and I think they just look slick. Um, let's see, yeah I have been busy. On the other side, this here the wheel uh, fender lining whatever the hell I bought that new. But I figured while well, fuel is going up and shipping rates are going nuts because for this cross member over here I paid 15 to ship it for this one I paid 35 and that was enough of that so now I'm gonna get practice forming metal so I cut this piece out welded that in and did the same for the quarter panel over here and I got my second heater channel set in there. You notice the door is off right now, but uh, before I had this all closed up here, um, the door would drop damn near an inch down. And uh, once I once I just got a little bit of this on, it improved considerably. And now the door is is rock solid, and it closes perfectly. One thing I should say is this thing has been hit twice. Once up front, you can tell because that's the front bumper and that was must have been bent and split and, and they just sort of hammered it and welded it back together. And once over here, uh, right here, I don't know if you can see that, but that's oh, probably 3 sixteenths of an inch of Bondo right there. And it's all crinkled up right there. And uh, back in here, this stuff here is all Bondo, where there's all recesses and it's dented up and they hammered it out, I guess, and put body filler in it. But I pretty much had to give up on getting everything to line up perfectly. This side of the body would not uh, come down quite far enough. It sat. Uh, I'd guess a quarter to a half inch higher than the other side of the body and there was just nothing I could do about it. No jacking or whatever, you know. If, so I just decided to live with it. 60 miles an hour through the Holland Tunnel, nobody's going to notice. Uh, let's see. Been a lot of stuff going on. Not so much with the Beetle though, but I have been busy on it. I still have yet to get back there and over there but it's coming close and I just got to come back around here with another piece of metal all the way back to there and then that side will be done and then all it'll be left is for do these back pieces and grind down all these crappy looking welds and see if I can hide them with body filler <laughs> 